All right, this is part two of your 5.1 notes. I'm gonna keep this real short. I um, just kind of ran out of time to get these last couple problems in. So the other thing we're doing besides graphing is equation writing. And equation writing is just working this problem, the graphing problem in reverse. So when we're doing graphing, we had, you have had an equation, you pulled out all the information. So pull out the vertex, pattern of change, plot it, draw your graph. Pull out the x-intercepts, pattern of change, figure out where that vertex is, use your pattern of change, draw your graph. And also access the symmetry, right? So we're just going to work that problem in reverse. So here it sits the graph. And what your job will be to figure out is, okay, what are the zeros? Um, what is the pattern change? So I know what my a value is. Remember the pattern change, the first number in the pattern change is your a. So we're going to solve for that and then write your equation. So going to my graph, um, there's some good steps here for us to start. I guess the first thing is I look for my zeros. So my zeros are my x-intercepts. So those are my r1 and r2. So one at negative three and one at positive one. Then it says to find any other point on the graph. Now that, that means a point that actually sits on a grid mark. Um, it says here y-intercept is a good choice, which it actually is always your best choice. So always grab your y-intercept. And then what you do basically is you take r1, r2, and then we're gonna call this just kind of generically x and y, and we plug them in. Well, if you think about it, if we have x and y and r1 and r2, and you look at this equation, that's everything in there but the a value. So now what I'm going to do is drop all those numbers in. So y is 6 for my y-intercept. x is 0. I'm going to put that in twice. Drop in one of my r's. Drop in my other r. I'm going to clean this up and just do some solving. So we'll get rid of this mess of parentheses first. So that's positive 3. That's negative 1. Then multiply those together. Then do a little bit of basic algebra. Divide both sides by negative 3, and there's my a value. That was the key. I needed to know what the A was. I already knew what the two R values were. And in this equation, the ones that are in black are what I need to, to drop in to write the equation. In any equation, when you get to the point of writing the final version, the final equation, X and Y should be in there. You should not be replacing those with numbers. Everything else is going to get replaced. So you do the replacement, and you're good to go. Now you've got it in. We consider it to be factored form. Okay, let's try another. So vertex form, and vertex form is actually even easier, um, especially if your vertex and pattern change are, are kind of obvious to you, but you know, grab your vertex, right? You'd have to have your vertex, and we gotta know what it is. So again, as I look at this equation, I decide what it is I need to grab from the graph. It should be those things that are not the X and the Y. So I need the A, I need the H, I need the K. All right, well, you know, from the graph, the vertex is pretty easy to tell. That's at three, negative four, so there's my vertex. Pattern change, what I want to do there is just try to see, like, as I go over 1, this is the key, as I go over 1 and up, where do I, how much have I gone up by? So on this one, if you think, well, it's at 1, 3, 5, I'll try it. Go over 1, up 1, and no, I'm not on the graph. Is it a 2, 6, 10? Go over 1, up 2, I'm still not on the graph. And the fact that I'm getting further away from it must mean it's actually less than 1. Over 1, up a half. So what I know now is my pattern change is actually based on a half. So over 1 up a half, over 1 up 3 halves, 1.5, over 1 up 5 halves, 2.5. It's a 1 half, 3 halves, 5 halves. Now the key isn't so much the second two here, it's the first one. i got to know what my A value is, and A is always the first number in the pattern change. And once I have the H and the K, and I got the first number in my pattern change, which is A, I'm good to go. Drop them in, and you are done. So I think this is probably even less work than write an equation from factored form or from the, having your zeros. And that is it. So again, keep that second video really short. That's all your notes for 5.1.